Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Infection Free Zone. We have a bunch of research still. I remember talking about what we were planning on doing with it and all of that. Oh no, no we were going to do food preservation and efficient cooking. So let's continue to, to keep that rolling. I did talk about wanting to try and incorporate this building into my base. Basically, the plan is... Thank you for the update. Um, the plan is to try and pull it inside the wall here, build it into a house, and reconfit either D de-adapt this thing and tear it down or readapt it into more housing or something i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to do with it we have 43 living quarter capacity in the headquarters as it is but we are kind of running up against the the limit of this shelter right here so i'm not 100 percent sure uh we do want to continue tearing these buildings down out here maybe like, maybe we leave this neighborhood alone on the off chance we could, like, extend the wall out further. I should I should have my teams going out today. Maybe we'll let you, Galaxy Quattro, continue healing up. Uh, but today, let's have Front Dragon take the van out. Building work done. And you, why don't you come over here and check in on these, these bozos who, they claimed they were gonna die... Then they called me later saying like, haha, you got me. So, <laughs> so I have no idea if they're still alive or not. We're going to go check on them. See what happens. You guys were supposed to repair this wall. You clearly didn't do that. All right. Continue working. I'm pretty happy with the base overall, though. Things are things are pretty good. Building work done. All right, let's see here. Reporting. Let's check in on... You guys have to drive... I, no, 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 no. Alt. There we go. If you if you hit Alt, you can drive off-road. If you just normally click on stuff, uh, your people will follow the road. Which, they travel faster, but it might actually end up being a longer longer distance. It's like Google, Google Maps. You can punch in the shortest route, but you can also tr punch in fastest route. Construction ready. All right, they have entered the building. It seems like nothing is happening. Search done. Research complete. That's it? Okay. <laughs> they, uh... Maybe they did die. Or maybe they escaped. It is funny that the, the, the indicator is still there. Well, in that case, is there any building I would rather, like, go loot? I think I'd rather go loot these big buildings than all of these little houses. So go loot, go over here, and then um, Receiving. do these four buildings as a whole. We'll see how far they get tonight, and we'll check in on them. How you guys doing? Christine Powell's still healing up. You guys are bringing more bricks back. How many guns do we have? We just have a bunch of pistols. We do have um, more assault rifles. We could make another squad that's full assault rifle team. Our current food will last us one day. <laughs> that's not good. Maybe we should get more uh, more greenhouses going then. Ah, the cannery, right. I think, I think I would like the cannery here. We don't need a ton of people working in the cannery, I don't think. It probably would be a good idea to get another cookhouse going. Just like here. And then the greenhouses. There's a, there's a tree here. Have you always been there? Alright, whatever. Excuse me. There. 
How many tools we got? Four. Okay. Aren't you making tools? Very slowly. And honestly, that's fine. We don't want to go crazy with the tools. The reason I would consider incorporating this this neighborhood, or may, at least maybe this little chunk here, is because we need a place to build guns when we have that, that research completed. These guys are almost done. Actually, I think they will be done once they, they finish this last round here, which is kind of exciting. We have 68 bricks, so if we kind of, like, run the numbers here... They've done it. Well done. If we run the numbers here and we, like, build out from here, that's 34. It'll be very close if we expand out and around and then back. So maybe what we do next is we start tearing this neighborhood down. And then we kind of, like, work on incorporating this guy out here. It also gives us some space in the middle to build even more greenhouses if we would like. This building is tempting as well because it's a bit bigger. We could build, like, a super factory or at least a warehouse. Because this warehouse is, is already over half full. We finished construction. It's tempting. Maybe we should like go out further and tear down a different neighborhood maybe like these four since they're a bit further out we're we at four we're out of wood how did that happen i'm shocked we could go over here and just tear down this ent entire forest then which is probably not a bad idea how many wood is this 63 we don't want to put all... Or 67. I don't know why I thought it was 63. We don't want to put all of our workers out there. Let's put two people to work there. Three people to work there. And then let's go ahead and queue up some dismantle orders as well. That'll get us quite a bit of material. Let's knock it down to five on that building, two on that building, two on that building. You guys didn't finish. All right, where's our other squad? Ready for action. How are you guys doing? You finished one of the buildings. Okay. Operator, on my way. For now. I will have you come back. Let's do it. Thankfully, they're not too far away. You guys pop into the science building here. And honestly, we should create a new squad. Operator. Now, I'm trying to remember my, my squads from Exogate Initiative. We had Front, Front Dragon. We had Galaxy Trio, which I've renamed Galaxy Quattro. Dude, Arthur Martinez, he looks so mad. All right, we're going to have to unassign some people. So let's do one, two, three. Receiving. There we go. Victoria Bailey, Justin Wright, looks like he's he's been through nuclear holocaust. And Anna Wright, brother or sister, perhaps uh, husband and wife? Father, daughter? <laughs> he does look a lot older. Um... All right, change you from, uh, uh, how do I change your gun? Exchange. Aha! Pistol. Put that back. And this back. Okay. I'm learning. Okay, so, what, what should we name you? I'm trying to remember. D. <laughs> What are, uh, 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 what were some of the good names? A lot of them were named after food. X-Ray Alpha, I remember. That might have been our first play, our first base, but I do remember X-Ray Alpha a lot, and that was a lot of fun. We're on the move. All right, X-Ray Alpha, you guys go post up, like, can you hang out we're in, maybe just this building? We'll have to check to see what their firing line is like. 
but that's not too bad. We have a lot of metal and still have a lot of brick, but I want to use the brick for, um, for walls. So let's take a look at like what metal towers would do for us. Put it. You could put a metal tower here, and that would give you pretty good shots over the the walls and the and then the gate actually well it doesn't quite cover so maybe two more towers are like warranted like we'll need a lot of survivors to man these things but i think at least planning them out is a good idea and then one more tower here and then long term we can we can like staff like half of them It's going to take a lot of metal to build all these towers. But we are going to tear down a bunch of buildings tomorrow, too. So. All right. What's your... Okay. They they have a really good sight line, actually, on, on everything. Um, That's pretty good. You guys, I'm pretty happy with where you're at, too. And we can always flex people out of, out of certain positions. You guys have finished food preservation. Let's go for efficient cooking. So it speeds up food preparation. That'll be good. Because we actually have a lot of grain and raw meat that we're just not utilizing chemical plant we're still making fertilizer out of wood we should probably pivot this to fertilizer out of fuel because we are very low on wood we still haven't finished the new cookhouse and we haven't finished the cannery so lots to do let's go ahead and fast forward through the evening the base is looking pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with it. Lots more greenhouses. No wood. Well, we'll help. We'll we'll start working through that with uh with chopping down the park here. <laughs> it's, it's nice that it's next to a park. We could always come out here into the highway area too and chop down these trees that are relatively close by. We're missing resources. I know we're out of wood. Don't worry. It's April. All right, so now we'll have, we have three primary cars that we'll take out too. So Front Dragon will take the van. Galaxy Quattro will take the pickup truck. Roger. Oops. Roger. Reporting. We're on the move. And then uh, X-Ray Alpha, you guys will take the sedan. The All right. Earn your, Earn your keep. That sounded like something out of Frostpunk. All right. Front Dragon, go back to these three buildings here We're on the move. and explore those. You guys, uh, you, you're, you've We're on the move. been tricked. Construction complete. Right, there they go. Alright, you guys, I want you to explore, like, the neighborhood some more and just, like, run through all of these buildings in the neighborhood. like that and then x-ray alpha the newest team on the block we're gonna take you guys where should we take you let's zoom to the overall strategy map we could bring you down to this police station i think that would be warranted because we can get them some more protective gear I think that's what we'll do. Let's go south to East 90th Street. Pop into here. And then we'll reevaluate depending on how fast they they do that work. It is 34 degrees. That is fairly cold for April. Especially late April. Although it's still early in the day. It could get up to like 50. It is raining. What does raining mean? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it does mean something. Not that I can tell. All right. We got we got some spare people here. Let's put them back to work in the mines. All right. that's right. We've maxed out on the people we have available. These guys are going to repair the wall. Incoming transmission. Hello? Sir, we're in a oh, no. Infected. They've cut off our escape. We've 
barricaded ourselves in the basement, but we can't get out now. Oh no. Send the squad to fight them off and help us. Yes. Wait there. All right, hold on. All right, front dragon. Roger. Pivot off of what you were doing. Immediately help your team, your friends. Hey, we have a squad of neutral group. Three new people come to join us. I'm cool with that. I don't know if we've ever had a negative uh, impact from neutral group. Okay, they are, they're not joining us. Maybe we have to interact with them in a second. Once we save our squad, we'll, we'll bring the other squad back over. Coming up. Taking your sweet time with it, with this van here. There they go. Hold on. Guys! Sir! Sir! You won't believe what just happened. I... What? One of the infected just followed us outside. Into the sun. <gasps> but what's worse, he seemed to know exactly what he was doing. It took him a moment to give up, but then he returned to the darkness. What the hell is going on? I don't understand. Kill it? Better get back there and kill it. Why did they go in there and immediately, like, abandon their teammate? That was weird. All right, nobody got hurt, though. All right, hold on. We killed him. Good. We don't want him teaching the other zombies what to do. All right, you guys in the van, come over here and interact with these dudes. Uh, hold on. Alt. Well, oh, I don't want to kill them. I want to, like, interact with them. Operator. They're they're not they're not bad guys because they don't have guns. You can always tell. That's what I was told anyway. All right. Meanwhile, you guys go back to what you were doing before you got trapped in the basement. Receiving. Hello. How are you guys? Are you guys good? Except. Send them in. There we go. That's what I wanted. I can always use three more people. Alright, things are going well. Tearing these buildings down, 10%, 11, 8.6, and 4. <laughs> Building clear. Still working on these other buildings. Search done. There we go. Repair that wooden wall. I would love to replace it with brick. We're on the move. Going there. Cannery is almost done. There's no hostile group incoming. Where? Adaptation done. Excuse me. Oh, there they are. Enemy group. It's a group of uh machete wielders though. Not a great not a great plan when it comes to attacking people with AK forty sevens. Right, the the cannery takes two normal food plus steel and makes it into cans. Hmm. Let's hold off on that for now until we have like a surplus of food. And it makes people unhappy too. So let's hold off on utilizing the cannery if we can. No pun intended there. Construction ready. All right. Yeah, wheat and and wood equals food, which is what you are currently doing. So let's change this to uh, meat plus wood equals food. Going there. We have the opportunity to make more of these houses into kitchens if we so desire. What do you mean workers are dying of hunger? Can you not eat wheat? Maybe you can't. Definitely can't use raw meat either. All right, we have a lot of people. Maybe we should, should make another another kitchen because this one only has capacity for one person which is a little rough Building clear. like if we wanted to change you into a kitchen Going there. how how beneficial would that be There's nothing left. I like this one because it maximum staff of three Similar to to this one that's running around out here, but we should definitely think about putting in a gate. Although if we're gonna expand out the wall, maybe it doesn't matter. 
There's nothing left. How much does a section of brick wall cost? No more to find. It looks like it's it's one for one. If you if you tear down the wall, you don't lose any re, uh, resources, which is nice because that means we could basically extend this wall out here and just plan on that being the new section of the wall. Problem is, while you're tearing it down and moving it, it's now all of a sudden your base is very vulnerable. So for now, I think we'll just plan on putting a metal gate here. Reporting. You guys done? You are done. Hey, new survivors. Let's check in with you guys. Bad people. Nah, there's only like five of them. So six of them. Hey guys. Hello. Accept. Send them in. All right, you guys come on back. Got a lot of guns. I guess one gun and a lot of ammo. How are you guys doing? Lots of cans. Lots of cans. All right, we're. Ready for action. We'll be okay from a food perspective. You guys have a crap ton of cans too. All right, everybody come on back. You guys aren't quite done with exploring this building. Where? Oh, all the way over there. I knew about those guys. We're zooming. On a tower, perhaps? We're missing resources. Stop working. Start Stop working. working. Stop working. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. All right. S switch out your teams. Or not switch them out. Move them around. As we do. I wonder if it'd be a good idea to unassign people during the day and then reassign them to the watchtowers at night. So are the zombies going to attack me during the day now? Is that what they were hinting at? That zombie walked out into the light? Let's do it. All right. The other team is is now done. Receiving. I think. Waiting orders. Operator. Operator. They are done. Okay. We're on the move. Come on back. Your van is full anyway. We're on the move. Room. Punk. All right. We should research utilizing fertilization techniques. And efficient cooking is going to be very helpful since we were running out of food as it is. Now we have 39 food. I think what we want to do is, like, wait through the night for the zombies to possibly attack us. Once it gets to be, like, 4 a.m., then the teams can go back into the cars and get ready to go out for the day. Here we go! All right, where are they coming from? From that away. From... Is that the north side? Must be. So you guys, can you, maybe you could just stand out here. Let's do it. Or you could, they're going to run out of ammo. We're empty. They're coming. Oh, they're in here. Run away. <laughs> Alright, there's infe there's three infected in this building. You bozos, kill it. get these people out of here. Alright. Alright, my plan to to send our squads out by 4 a.m. did not work out. It's partially because I fought the zombies at three times speed four times speed. Uh but it worked out. No kidding, we saw them go in there. Sir, we found something interesting near the lair that we just cleared. A CCTV camera, still operational, solar powered. Could someone still be watching this place? We've been here like 80 times. Say hello. Say hello and wave. We could make new friends. Going there. I highly doubt that. 
But we've definitely been in this building before. It's very funny that they're like, this lair was cleared out. <laughs> it's like, not really, guy. We are out of resources. We're working on it. We'll get some more when we tear down these buildings here. Plus all of this, uh, this forest over here. Okay. Cars, ready to roll. Let's go explore this, uh, you guys only have 10 capacity, so I think the van should be the one to go through here, this whole neighborhood. I think they should be able to sweep this all in one day, but we'll see. Uh, Sedan, why don't you come over to, like, this building? We're on the move. And then you guys are a little beat up, but I think you could you can heal as you're just like out and about on your day. It's just like a function of time. They don't actually have to be like hanging out. So you guys come clear this side of the lake here. Thank God that you guys told me about using shift click for queuing up my my squad's actions. That is that is a game changer. Massive improvement. How are we doing from a fertilization perspective? Search done. We have 47. Clear. We have 30 fuel, 10 pistols, 1 assault rifle. We'll have another gate here soon. How many people are working on this gate? Clear. Five out of five? No wonder it's going fast. On my way. Honestly, the fact that we're waiting on that much uh, wood. Left. No more to find. Let's just put people out here. Oh, whoops. Not on the middle tower. I wanted to work on the, left. the scavenging task out here. Got some new people coming in. You guys, why does this happen? Somebody explain to me why why this one... Actually, both teams are doing it now. Because sometimes they're smart enough to utilize their vehicle by, like, offloading all the stuff in there. Other times, they don't. And I don't understand why that is. It might just be, like, a, a foible in the programming. Let's do it. Because now they're they're sweeping the buildings and not moving the vehicle. Roger. Receive it. Roger. Cause cause sometimes they do fill up the car and then they bring Search done. They keep exploring until until they're done. But other times Roger. they don't. I have to just kinda like keep an eye on them. Receive it. So like what happens when they finish building this? building here they're not going back to the van that's just this bonkers Search done. there we'll keep it limited i guess because they're not smart enough to figure it out anymore see now they're now they're doing it right i don't understand man adaptation done oh yes new New thing. How much food do we have? We have more meat than we do wheat. So this kitchen should be working on meat as well. No more to find. No more to find. All right. They did it this time as well for some reason. I'm not sure how that works. Let's do it. Is it if you queue up like too much stuff? They can't figure out how to do it right? I don't know, man. Building clear. There's nothing left. Search done. X-ray Alpha, you're still working. 62%. Okay. No more to find. Tearing down these buildings still. 35, 63, 81. No more to find. Excuse me. Sir? <laughs> what are you doing? Here, get in your van. It's probably faster. 
I like how they're attacking my building and the people are continuing to... Look at these punks. Look at these guys. They're continuing to assault the building, but our, our folks continue to deliver uh, stuff to them undeterred. All right, Van. You messed with the wrong... You messed with the wrong people. I was very confused by the sound effect, though. I thought somebody was being stabbed. Oh, our car is actually full. Look at that. Come on back. Operator. And honestly, they could stay in for the evening now. Let's check in on... Galaxy Quattro. We're on the move. Not quite finished. Almost complete. Let's have you check three more houses before you come back in. And then, how's, uh, how are you guys going? Not quite. Clear. All right, I'm pretty pleased with how things are progressing. We, and we finished our gateway. Hell yeah. We're missing resources. Let's do all pistols, because it looks like you have to give them either all of the one type of gun or none. So, auto-saving complete. Fantastic. If I want to repair you, one wood, one metal, that's not so bad at all. Meanwhile, these guys are continuing to work on the towers. We'll tear down that building. Things are looking great. This is a great place to pause the episode. If you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Infection Free Zone or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notifications are on so you know when the videos go live. But until next time, everybody, I hope you had a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody. Clear.